What is up guys? It is Mercifies here bringing you a video today of what we got and what we got is another job tutorial. I know it has been forever. I apologize. Um, I'm just a lazy motherfucker and I don't release Java tutorials as often as I probably should. I have a good backing for them. A lot of people request updates and uh, more lessons and I'll try to get back on the bandwagon but I can never promise anything with you guys. But we have another tutorial. Today's tutorial, as you can see, I'm not using Eclipse. I'm using BlueJ. And the reason for that is because BlueJ offers a nice visual demonstration for you guys. So this lesson will be a little bit easier for me to explain and teach to you. But as you can probably tell by the title of this video, today's lesson is going to be about inheritance. So let's get started. Basically what inheritance is, it is the process of which an object acquires the properties of another. So if I have a class, and I'm going to start this out by creating this class, I'm going to have a class that's a general class where I'll have methods that I want other classes to inherit. So I'm going to create a fruit class. This fruit class is going to have two methods. Okay, It is going to have the uh, color method to the to declare what color the fruit is and it's going to have a taste method but the first thing you need to do with any inherited class or any class you want to inherit is you have to declare it as an abstract class so in the top here when it says public class fruit you're going to change that to public abstract class fruit and what this does is it makes it so your methods that you're going to be declaring are not going to contain anything in the body what I mean by that well just hold on you'll find out so I'm going to have the two methods. Those methods are also abstract methods. So we're going to start out with public abstract void color. And I'm not going to put anything in the parentheses because I don't need to pass any parameters. And then a semicolon. Again, as I said, nothing in the body. It's pretty much a declaration here. Again, we're going to do the other one. Public abstract void taste. Boom. All right. Compile it, no syntax errors. So here we have this abstract class. Cool beans, Mercifies. <laughs> what are we going to do with it? Well, we create our subclasses, classes that are going to extend or inherit this superclass, fruit. So I'm going to create apple. I'm going to create orange. And I'm going to create banana. Boom. Got all three. Move these down here so I can show a little bit of... Uh, a visual demonstration so what's gonna happen is inside of my Apple class after I move all this shize public Apple uh, I'm not gonna do anything but I just want to put in that uh, default constructor public class Apple is going to inherit the fruit class and to do that up here at the top where it says public class Apple you add on extends fruit so what that means is that the methods inside of fruit must be declared inside of apple so i need to have public uh what was it void color and public void uh, taste now inheriting a class is not just limited to java other coding languages will do this too but in Java, it's considered proper etiquette to do at override above your overridden, your overridden method. Any method that is inherited into your class is considered an overridden method. Not an overloaded method. An overloaded method would have different parameters. So if I had parameters in color, I could have one method that says public void color with int a. I could have another method that says public void color int a and b. I could have another method with public void color int a and b and c. With an overrided method, it has to have the same amount of parameters, the same exact name of the method. Nothing is being changed, but you do have different things inside of the body. So in fruit, I never I never declared anything because you can't. It's an abstract class. Well, with this extended class. I can declare whatever the fuck I want. So I'm going to put in for the color for this apple red because that's what <laughs> apples are. They're red. Unless you get a green apple or a golden apple, but I think basically they're mostly red. Taste. Uh, I'm going to say that the apple tastes like an apple. 
tastes like an apple. Boom. Now we we don't really need public apple, but I'm just gonna keep it here and call color and taste. Compile that, no errors, awesome. Something I do want to go over though, when you're extending a class, you can only extend one class. I can't have another abstract class called food, which is also inherited by apple. I can, on the other hand, have food be inherited by fruit, but that's a whole other story and I don't want to get into that because this is just the first lesson. So now that we have apple done, I'm just going to copy and paste this and paste it into my orange class. Just change the uh, names around. So I could just uh, find, or yeah, replace apple with orange. Oh. All right, cool. How do I replace it? Replace? No, no. Um, Find apple, replace orange. Well, this is kind of stupid. All right, I guess I don't know how to use blue jay as well as I thought. I'll just do it the old way. Orange, orange, and tastes like an orange. Compile, awesome. Banana, same thing. Banana. Banana, fuck, I can't spell. Banana is yellow. And tastes like a banana. Awesome. Now I'm going to create a tester class called tester. And I'm going to call these other classes. So public static, void main. Put your string and your args in there. String args. And we're going to create an apple. Apple A equals new um, apple. What is it? Orange. Orange O equals new orange. And banana B equals new banana. Compile. Uh, well, this looks like a shithole. yeah <laughs> uh, compile and run that and as you can see red tastes like an apple orange tastes like an orange and yellow tastes like a banana you might be thinking mercifies why wouldn't I just put in the method anyway well <laughs> it's hard for me to explain where you would use uh, abstract classes as of right now but if you had a bunch of classes like apple, orange, and banana that all needed to inherit fruits class, fruits methods, this is the reason to use it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I just wanted to do the basics of this, kind of go down through it. If you do plan to pursue coding and object-oriented coding in the future, you got to get inheritance down. Um, it's just it's an ideology that you need to learn so I hope you guys enjoyed please if you have questions comments concerns leave them in the comment section I reply to them if you have problems if you got compile errors if you got yada 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 fucking comment that shit uh, don't private message me just because I I don't get notifications if I get private messages but I do get notifications if I have a comment so again leave a comment leave a like leave a favorite do what you gotta do I am out